Let's make a good impression on the people. Smiles, everyone. Let's get it together. Is that the best you can do, Melman? Oh, I'm not smiling. It's gas. Okay, well, great. Let's make gas look good. Wow! It's not people. It's animals. California animals. Dude, this is like a puppy party. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. Yeah, I like to move it. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. You like to move it. I like to move it, move it. You like to move it, move it. She like to move it, move it. He like to move it. All girls all over the world. Original King Julian. What a girls, man. I love her all the girls. They love to move their body. When you move your body, you know move it nice and sweet and sassy. All right? What kind of zoo is this? I just saw 26 great health code violations. I'm loving San Diego. This place is off the chisling. 27. Woman physically fit, physically fit, physically, physically, physically fit. Woman physically fit. We should have bought chips and dip. Wait. Where's Alex? What happened to him? He was right behind us. What did he right behind us? I don't know where he's at, but he's missing one heck of a party. The food's off! The Fusa! The Fusa are attacking! What are you doing? It was a hunky! The Fusa! Rat da 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 Word. Okay, I'm already recording, so that's going okay. to be a video. <laughs> okay, before being imperialized, Madagascar had a strong sense of Asian and African culture. The people who lived there were still, were and still are, called the Malagasy. And as Madagascar is close to the Bantu-speaking Africa, their language has elements of that language too. What the heck is that? Is Madagascar's location and its immediate neighbors. Dude, I'm supposed to read that. Oh, sorry. In the bottom right corner of this map, um, is Madagascar, and its immediate neighbors are Mozambique, the Comoro Islands, and Nassauland. The imperializing country is France. The motives behind imperialism and how it was accomplished. So the motives are that the French needed to get more resources and wanted more land. The French also thought that the resources in Madagascar, such as coffee, vanilla, mango, sugar, rice, cotton, and potatoes, and wheat that only grew because of their land spread that was unique to them were useful. And what they accomplished was through the process of many battles lost by the French until they won in 1894 when their technology improved. Then they made Madagascar a French colony in 1896. As the French improved their technology with steel and guns, the Malagasy became, although still determined, weaker from all the fighting and their armies fell apart, giving the French an easier win. The form of imperialism that the French used over Madagascar is direct, but after World War II, it became indirect to avoid conflicts again between the two. The views of those who imperialized and those who were imperialized. The view of those who were imperialized was that they wanted to own more land and needed more resources. These are the ones who imperialized. So like, Didn't French. I say that? No, you said were. Views of those who <laughs> who imperialized. They wanted to own more land and needed more resources, so they did not see it as personal, but as a way to obtain what they wanted and a way to make more money through the production of goods by the Malagasy working for them. The view of those who were imperialized were that they were unhappy with how the French treated them, um, they treated them like slaves and abused them and um, made the Malagasy fight for them in World War II. And they ended up revolting because of this m mistreatment, as most do. Um, the Malagasy were oppressed because they had to be Christian because the French brought their religion into Madagascar along with their cu culture, etc., which was removing their own roots from how they were brought up and changing them to be like the French, th and they were naturally, like, pretty upset about this. Um, 
and the positive effects of imperialize uh, of imperialism on Madagascar. I'm so sorry. Madagascar. Okay. So the immediate positive was that um, some Malagasy were offered Western education and they got better medical care and sanitation, which caused higher lifespans and increased agricultural agriculture products. Um, a long-term positive was that their food, language, and travel changed long-term from imperialism. Um, crops were planted in Madagascar by the French, like tobacco and coffee, which are still there today. Um, cooked beef and chicken were introduced and are still a main cuisine there today. The religion of the French missionaries, Christianity, was brought into Madagascar and is still there today. Um, French is still, is still spoken there. That was introduced during the imperialization. Um, rail, r railroads, railways, railroads, word, okay, that were built and improved the roads of Madagascar are still in use today. Um, these effects such as real religion were oppressive but not physically harmful and still affect um, Madagascar today as above 50% of the Malagasy today practice the religion freely by choice. Immediate negative effects were that literacy rates were still low and infant mortality rates, mortality rates were very high. Um, France completely rearranged the Malagasy system of government and disbanded the groups the Malagasy separated themselves into. The French also forced taxes upon the Malagasy and they restricted, tr restricted trade with other countries. People also know that repression negatively affects people's freedom of expression. The country's national, oh my God, <laughs> natural resources, such as tropical products like coffee, cocoa, vanilla, sugar, mango, cotton, rice, tobacco, pineapple, maize, wheat, barley, oats, potatoes, for example, <laughs> have been exploited <laughs> by the French and nothing was done to develop it in any way industrially. And then some long-term term negative effects were that it is argued that the horrible, brutal treatment that the Malagasy faced has traumatized them so badly that the behavior of the population has been changed in the long run from having memories of bloody revolts and violence. The effects of imperialism on the country that imperialized, which is France. So France was successful for a while with the imperialist of Madagascar until they gave them back their independence when the French colony empire ended. France advanced their religion, culture, food, language, and means of travel through improving roads, and that was successful. But they endured many revolts from the Malagasy because of their unhappiness with the way they were mistreated through abuse and, for example, forcing them to fight for the French in World War II. Nonetheless, the French were happy with their success on imperialism until their colony and other countries fell and they gave independence back to Madagascar. Colonies that they had ownership over, they fought with after. Okay, so um, Madagascar gained independence on June 26, 1960. Independence was granted because France gave many African countries, including Madagascar, independence after World War II. Since there was a war between France and one of the colonies they had, and after this, the French colony empire ended. The signing of the independence of Madagascar was held in Paris, France, and the French president, Charles de, de Gaulle, de Gaulle, de Gaulle, and Philibert, Philbert, oh no, um, Tizerinana, the, the Malagasy president attended. So here's the timeline of like presidents and every, and like kind of everything and kind of like political things, um, shoot, political things that happened at, during the imperialization. No, after they gained independence. After they gained independence. Uh, rad. Okay. Um.
Madagascar was declared independent on June 26, 1960. Oh my gosh. Philibert Tizeranano was president from 1959 to 1972. Gabriel Ramon Santosoa, 1972 to 1975, was the president. That made no sense, but I, I don't care that much, I don't think. Um, so Richard, oh no, well, why are these names so hard? Ah, Richard Ratzmandrava was only the president in 1975. And then in 1975, Didier Ratzmandrava took control of the country. He acted as a dictator until 1991 when he was overthrown. He regained gained <laughs> presidency shortly after until he lost an election in 2001. The new president, Mark Ravalomanana, <laughs> um, promised to bring democracy to the country and was president from 2002 to 2009. And then in 2009, the president was called to resign by an opposition leader, Andri Rajolina, after violent protests and revolts, and Rajolina took over. That went on for the next five years, our sources claim. Henry? Oh, Harry. Harry. Okay, well, group, group project. Um, let's try this together, sweetie. Harry Rajanarima Pianina was president <laughs> from 2014 to 2018, and the current president is Andri Rajolina. How the country is faring today and what problems it faces. So today, it is better off than it was when it was being imperialized. There are more kids going to school now than there were then, and there is no more war, and it is a peaceful place to live. A policy was started by the government to get foreign countries to create industrial plants, which is positive for them. So, some of the problems are that the Malagasy are still cleaning up from when it happened because it created such a mess of industrialization, so they still have to work on cleaning it up. Madagascar has a great deal of environmental damage like deforest, deforestation, habitat de destruction, um, soil degra degradation, degradation <laughs> and erosion, agricultural fires, too much hunting and too much and taking too many animals from the wild, and the introduction of species that do do not belong there. Another problem is Madagascar's literacy literacy rate is 68%, which means that 68% of the population above age 15 are able to read and write. How is that a problem? It's said it on the website. <laughs> <laughs> it's really, it really... Okay. Um, Because that means, like, that's the only amount. Like, there's, like, oh, you know, there's still, like... Yeah, there should be more. Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay, that's, no, yeah. yeah, that's a problem. Okay, and around 50% of the population are living below the poverty line. Madagascar is very much dependent on foreign aid. The whole population of, Ma um, of the Malagasy is threatened by diseases such as malaria, plague, bacterial, and pr protozoal diarrhea. Oh, ha, ha, ha. I'm a 10-year-old boy who thinks diarrhea is funny still. Um, chikungunya and hepatitis A, and ty and typhoid fever, which can, which all can be very dangerous to the people who contract them. There is also poor governing and governing and com corruption that serve as big problems for the Malagasy today. Summarize countries' successes or failures due to imperialism. Is the country doing well because of or in spite of imperialism? And if the country is faring badly, to what extent is imperialism to blame? Madagascar is faring badly right now because of disease, poverty, environmental damage, literacy rates, and because of the remnants of imperialism that has to be cleaned up by the Malagasy to this day. 
Imperialism is to blame for this struggle to clean Madagascar by restoring its rural nature because of its urbanization from the building of factories, for example, in the past. Imperialism did help literacy rates, but they are still not ideal after all of those educational changes from imperialism back when the French imperialized. Another problem that is caused by imperialism is the environmental damage. The buildings that were created during the time required room to be built, so there were bound to be trees cut down, and that was repeated over and over, creating the problem of deforestation. After all the efforts to change Madagascar, there were not there were not many positive effects besides simple ones like food and more religion. So they are still suffering from the negative effects that imperialism had has caused for them that outweigh the positive, such as disease, disease and destruction of their land. Quiz time! Who imperialized Madagascar? Name one positive and one negative that the Malagasy faced from being imperialized. When did the Malagasy gain independence? I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. You like to.